The Ministry of Road Transport and Highways has unveiled the much-awaited official Bharat NCAP, India's first automotive safety assessment program that's been designed to make Indian automobiles safer and more export-worthy. I'm very much sure about it that as far as the cost is concerned, we are very, very competitive in the world. And in the quality point of view, if you are equal to that, anywhere, whatever the cost may be in USA, even I am confident that a day will come that we will be reasonably equal to China also. And the day will come that people will prefer uh, cost-wise and quality-wise our automobile industry first in the world. That is really confidence in my mind and I am sure about it. So, what exactly is Bharat NCAP? Well, it's essentially a safety rating system. It's been created in line with Global NCAP under its Safer Cars for India initiative and follows similar protocols and criteria for assessing basically two things. The structural integrity of the vehicle and the adult and child occupant protection levels for automobiles which fall under the M1 category. The M1 category of course refers to passenger vehicles whose gross weight is less than 3.5 tons and has seating for no more than 8 individuals. Is it mandatory? No, it's not. Bharat NCAP is a strictly voluntary measure and has been introduced not to determine whether a vehicle can be sold or not, but more like a certification that informs the customer about the safety credentials of the car they want to buy. It exists purely to allow you, the consumer, to make a more informed car purchasing decision. So, a 0 or a 1 star rating does not legally make a vehicle unfit for sale. The reason why this has been brought in is that modern Indian consumers are now more quality conscious rather than cost conscious. And this, of course, bodes well for the overall safety standards of mass market automobiles in India. Essentially, the NCAP will slowly spur manufacturers to volunteer for the safety assessment and use the results to broadcast its high safety standards to all consumers as part of their advertisements and feature projections. So, how exactly does Bharat NCAP work? Well, there's a five-step program for the enrollment of a vehicle into the NCAP by a manufacturer. First, they nominate a vehicle model to be tested for safety star ratings. Then, a Bharat NCAP representative visits the manufacturing facility or dealer outlet to select the base variant of the model through random sampling. The vehicle is then crash tested at a designated testing centre with representatives from both OEMs and Bharat NCAP in attendance. The test results are then shared with the manufacturer and following approval from Bharat NCAP, a star rating is assigned and a certificate is issued. So, how does Bharat NCAP differ from Global NCAP? Given that the program intends to align Indian crash safety standards with international ones, the parameters of Bharat NCAP are very similar to those of Global NCAP. Safety is assessed on primarily three pillars. Adult occupant safety, child occupant safety and the fitment of safety assist technologies like electronic stability control, anti-lock braking system, seat belt reminders, airbags, etc. Each model will be subject to a frontal and side impact test with the former conducted at a speed of 64 km per hour. This is the same as the ones found in Global NCAP. Should a car require a safety rating of 3 stars or more, it will be subject to a further pole side impact test. Each category carries a maximum and minimum number of points based on which a star rating is then assigned. And for any model to carry a 3 star rating or above, it must be equipped with front seat belt reminders and electronic stability control. So, that is the long and short of it. The new NCAP program will also be testing CNG and electric vehicles. The central government has stated its intent to keep updating these parameters with the inclusion of new technology, including those for EV risk mitigation. The program will come into effect on the 1st of October. <laughs>